How do appraisers actually come up with a property value? Kind of a mystery, right? Do you know that they have over 200 hours of training plus apprenticeship time in order to learn to price property? And yet, it's never exact. This is Ron Wysokarski at Wise Home Team Realty. And what you may not know is that an appraisal is just an opinion of value of that appraiser. And chances are, if you hired three appraisers to appraise the exact same property, they'd likely come up with a different value. And what's interesting is that a lot of times when a home gets appraised, they get to see the contract and say, hey, it's under contract for $300,000. So there's a little bit of guidance on that. If you wanna throw a little mystery into it, send three appraisers out there and don't show them a contract and don't give them a price of nothing to go on. Now they really have to use their skills and research. Now, once they have that property and they've looked at the recent sales, the homes that are currently available on the market, maybe some that are pending in those three areas, it's gonna give them some clues of where the property might be priced. And even with that, there's gonna be some margin for error. It's not likely to have the exact same property cookie cutter every single time. They may have a three bedroom house that has 800 square feet and a three bedroom house with 2000 square feet. So they're gonna to have to make what they call adjustments. And they're gonna compare those adjustments on the comparable properties and they're gonna make adjustments up or down to eventually get you the value of what they call the subject property. See, that would be your property that they're trying to appraise. And they always adjust the comparables, never the price on the subject property. So it can get a little bit murky. Here's how I break it down in the plainest of English terms. They're gonna look at what's sold recently, what's currently on the market, and what's under contract. They're gonna look at those numbers and make adjustments to make those properties as close to the subject property, your property, as possible. Then they're gonna compute a number based on that sales approach. If that doesn't work, they might use what they call a cost approach, which is what it would cost to build it in today's market, which with pricing and supply chain issues is rarely used. And if it's an investment property, well, they might use the income approach, what the rents might be. The most often used is the price comparison approach, and that's the one you're probably most familiar with. Just keep in mind that if you talk to three experts, they're probably gonna give you three different numbers because it's an opinion of value. And that's just a little bit about appraisals. If you have questions about it or want more information, just drop us a message. We'd be glad to go deeper with you. This is Ron Wojcikarski at Wise Home Team Realty.